Israeli forces have left Khan Yunis, and this is what they've left behind. A city unrecognizable after months of fighting. <laughs> the Gazans who cautiously started returning today found nothing to come back to. I came to see my house and the houses of my cousins. They are uninhabitable. Everything is destroyed. Nothing is suitable for living. I was taken aback by what I saw, and I'm going back to my tent. Israeli forces might have destroyed almost everything in sight here, but they failed to destroy Hamas. Rockets were fired from the city hours after Israeli troops had gone. This war is far from over. The withdrawal of Israeli forces from southern Gaza marks a new phase in this war. It doesn't mean the end of fighting in Gaza, though. If anything, it could prolong the war because the Israeli government and the Israeli military are adamant. They are still, at some point, going to send forces into the city of Rafah. The Israeli town of Starot is only a few hundred metres from the Gazan border, but a world away from the ruins of Khan Yunis. Through the binoculars, at a lookout post on the edge of town, Israelis come for a glimpse of what's left of their enemy. Ami, a tour guide down from Jerusalem, is thinking of putting like this tour on the tourist like route. Tour, You've come up here, looked at binoculars into some northern Gaza here. Yeah. What, what was your thoughts when you saw you know, what, what's left of it? I was a little bit, um, on the one hand, happy. On the, on the other hand, disappointed. I expected to see more destruction. I expected to see more destruction. But, but the northern part of the northern part of Gaza, in my eyes, has to be destroyed and has to be kept in Israeli hands. That's the price they have to pay for what they did in Gaza, for what they did to us on October seventh. So, so, so this bit here that we're looking yeah. at, you think should it's not become enough. Israeli territory? Again. Yes, a hundred percent. In town, life has started to return as the threat from Hamas has been gradually reduced. But even after six months of fighting. Not everyone here feels safe. With the troops withdrawing from the south, does that make you feel unsafe? A little bit unsafe, yeah. I know that we don't have any army in Gaza, nothing. They can shoot rockets at us again. We came back to Zderot and we cannot stay here. I every day tell myself why I'm here. Because why I'm you're here. still occasionally getting I'm rockets not feel, in Gaza. I don't feel comfort and I'm not feel safe and I cannot be here. Netanyahu might be under international pressure to finish the war, but he's also facing domestic pressure to finish Hamas. We are working all the time to achieve our goals, primarily the release of all our hostages and achieving a complete victory over Hamas. This victory requires entry into Rafah and the elimination of the terrorist battalions there. It will happen. There is a date. When Israeli forces left northern Gaza, pockets of Hamas returned. Now they've left southern Gaza, there is a risk the same will happen there. The battle for total victory over a smaller adversary has proven harder than Israel thought. A ceasefire might be the respite all sides need right now. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, Instarot.